People relate to stories. It goes back to our earliest days. Look on a cave wall. There's not a spreadsheet. There's not a chart. There's not a dashboard. There's not statistics. There's not a visualization, but there's a story there. Natural language processing is taking unstructured things, if you will, and trying to create structured data out of them. Natural language generation is essentially the exact opposite. We take structured data in, and with structured data, we can create a story, a report, or a narrative in software that sounds like it was written by a person. We're the people that power Yahoo Fantasy Football recaps. For 17 weeks, everybody that plays fantasy football with Yahoo gets a recap of how they're doing with their fantasy team. This is a story that's relevant to one person on the planet. It's your story. Now, if you think about it through a whole football season, we create over 100 million individualized stories. The notion that you could do this in any other way just isn't even imaginable. Even when you get into the business world, and we do a lot in the world of business intelligence, where people have now dashboards and visualizations, which were designed to make understanding data easier. Even in those use cases, according to Gartner, only about 30% of the people in the enterprise can look at a dashboard and take away the meaning correctly. And what everybody else needs is a narrative that's interactive with the dashboard that just explains it.